we're in for a spectacle here too because here is Andy Murray, the young British number one, just 19 years of age, and he's playing against the world number one, Roger Federer. Bring you up to date with the doings of these men. He's 25 now, the world number one, turned pro in 98. As I say, he's just won his 40th career title, his 54th consecutive win in North America. That included nine titles, and it was his 18th consecutive win. He's putting together another of those runs of wins. And he's 63 and four this year. All four losses have been at the hands of young Rafael Nadal. Who, well, here's a man beginning to create his own legend. He's just 19 and turned pro this year, but when you think that at such a tender age of 18 he was then, he beat both Andy Roddick and Hewitt, Leighton Hewitt, in the semi-final and final of the tournament in, Jose, uh, in San Jose to win his first career title. It'll tell you just how quickly he's been advancing. Prize money of nearly $700,000. And a win loss of 39-19 this year, which is very healthy for a youngster just sort of breaking into the big time. Good serve from Federer setting that one up. It's often the best thing to do with the drop shot. Play another drop shot back. Fifteen. Well, it was his return of serve that set this up. That shot. Look. Cincinnati. Well, here's another break point. And you know, he's very clever. Well, it just shows you today, these fellows, not just Murray, will make you pay if you don't do more and with the volley. That's great tennis from Murray. It really is. Well, well played. That's how you volley. Well, as with Sushapan yesterday, Federer is being forced to elevate his game. Yes, exactly. He's playing to the level of his opponent. Yes, well played. Making life difficult for the volley up to his frustration. Yes. <laughs> Slipped it past him. Reading the drop shot, one of his favorite shots, and he sometimes uses it too much. Oh, mm -hmm. well, the net playing a part there. Well reached. 
Ravenhill did well to get that little dink from Federer. That's wonderful tennis. First class driving to a perfect length. And he's I really pushing Murray. better all over the court. Game. Murray. Murray. But you felt that coming. The pressure was mounting against Federer. Murray leads by five games. Overpressing for length there. So for the third time, he is a break behind. It's five for Murray. Him out. 15. First, a little short angle brings Murray into the net. Yes. He's really playing within himself, even though he's been broken three times. He keeps again. Well, he is the and there goes the ball out over the stand. And as he did in his last service game, finishing with a double fault to concede the lead once again to Murray. Wonderful exchange and then Federer breaking up the rhythm. And he has. After 54 minutes, that may just break the spell of being unable to hold his serve at crucial moments. He's won the set 7 5. to come in. Okay. But the problem was, he said, that coming here, there was no time to acclimatize. that approach shot. Now he's back to the faster ones, 123. Oh, 
And he looks up at... Once again, that return by Murray making that point possible. No, oh, brilliant. The driving of Murray today has been quite exceptional. I mean, that was a dreadful drop shot, and really. And there it is, another miss and hit. Murray. And Murray has broken Federer seven times now and has put Murray himself in with a chance of taking the match. He'll be serving at 5-4. A magnificent pass, he kept his nerve. He's done it! moment in the career of this extraordinary young Scott, applauded by his coach there, Brad Gilbert, patting his heart. So now he has claimed the scalps of three existing or former world number ones. Andy Roddick, Leighton Hewitt, and now the best of them all, Roger Federer. Who would have thought 7-5, 6-4 in an hour and 37 minutes that it would have been possible. Federer leaving the court, hardly knowing what has happened to him today.